Meanwhile, the candidates for Ohio's U.S. Senate seat spent this evening on the campaign trail. And with this race potentially deciding the balance of power in the U.S. Senate, it has become the most expensive race in the country. In the final week of what could be one of the most consequential races for the U.S. Senate, I work for all of you. Republican Bernie Marino made a stop at the Strongsville VFW. Once you fire Sheriff Brown, you give me the greatest gift you can possibly give me. I get to go to Washington, D.C. and fire Chuck Schumer. Meanwhile, Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown in a fight for his political survival, courting union votes in Youngstown. These workers in Mansfield and Warren and Youngstown and Struthers and Girard and Niles and all over the valley sold them out with these trade agreements, NAFTA and CAFTA and PMTR with China that sent those jobs overseas. And that's why, that's why I make these fights every day. According to Ad Impact, more than $400 million have been spent in the Ohio Senate race. And while the candidates' campaign coffers show Brown with much more, it's the outside spending that's having an impact. According to Columbus-based ad tracker Medium Buying, Republican spending for Marino this month has far outpaced Democratic spending for Brown. In both cases, the ads are being run and we don't know who's funding them. Campaign finance analyst Sarah Breiner from the nonprofit Open Secrets says much of the outside money in the race is coming from dark money groups where we don't know where the money is coming from. If we don't know, the candidates might know. <laughs> the political groups involved certainly know. And we don't know then who the politician who is elected is ultimately accountable. So in this high stakes race, expect to see even more ads until Election Day, because right now the latest polls show Brown and Marino in a statistical tie.